Civil unrest, drought and insecurity are some of the major reasons people run away from home to camps such as the Dadaab and Kakuma camp located here in Kenya. Because of the influx, Kakuma is home to over 500,000 refugees from DRC, Rwanda, South Sudan and Somalia. I had a chance to meet one of them and here's her story. Refugees currently are not staying as victims. They want to be uh, people who give hope to others that even though you are in a foreign country, you are forced out of your country, you can still make something out of your life anywhere you are. And the organizations are giving us a lot of support, for instance, Filmade. They give training annually for students, uh, if you are interested in photography, videography, script writing, directing. So I feel like uh, we are all equal. We are forced out of our country, but we are still human beings. So you don't have to be refugee this, refugee that, she's a refugee, she's this, she's a refugee. It's constantly, it's like you're constantly poking a wound, yeah? And it sometimes really hurts, yeah. I think hope for me is having the tools and the resources I need to build a better future for myself. Uh, you know, hope is having access to education. Uh, you know, hope is having access to a job opportunity. Uh, you know, hope is having access to a business opportunity if I want to do a business. Uh, you know, hope is having access, uh, you know, to free uh, freedom of movement. Uh, you know, hope is having access, uh, you know, to good health care. Uh, and I think that's what hope means for me. Uh, the most important thing is just having the tools that I need to build a better future for myself. And I think those are the tools that um, uh, bring me hopes. With this year's theme for World Refugee Day being hope away from home, it is the one thing they're holding on to, hope. For VOA News, I am Saida Swale in Nairobi, Kenya.